Hi, Steve here. Welcome to your next edition of Highlights. And what we're going to be looking at today is stops. One of the great things about using technical analysis and especially candlestick charts, uh, especially if you have the, the knowledge on how to use the candlestick charts correctly, is there's always a price that says you're wrong. Technical analysis is a great way to foster a risk and money management approach to trading. It's very hard to do that with the fundamentals because by the time the fundamentals change, the market could have moved quite steeply, either higher or lower. There's a wonderful Japanese proverb, a fish sees the bait, but not the hook. <laughs> and many of us who are trading or investing are just really focused on the bait, but we always have to think about the hook. Okay, We always have to be cautious. So with that in mind, let me discuss one of my, actually one of my favorite Western signals called change of polarity where there is a clean cut support area. Okay, the market breaks support and I'm not going to go through the reason why this works but there's a lot of sound psychological reasons why this works. And um, what happens, the old support area becomes potential resistance. And I see this time and time again. Now here is a trade that I actually um, did. This is the euro dollar and I had noted that the market broke under the support area over here. By the time it broke under it, uh, and you know, I wanted to be bare, uh, I wanted to sell short. And that's one of the great things you could do with forex, just as easy, as easy to sell short as, as it is to go long. But the market had moved down too far, too fast. And then I saw this Doji and a little bullish engulfing pattern here, so I expected a rally. And because the longer-term trend was down, we had a you know um, major downtrend since the highs in December, which by the way, in the Euro, the highs was made uh, with a, a shooting star confirming a resistance area, but um, focusing just on this. So the long-term trend was down, I wanted to be short, the market broke under the support area. Now based on that premise, old support becomes resistance, especially with the doji and the bullish engulfing pattern, I was looking for a potential rally with resistance at the prior support zone. So the market got here at the resistance, Okay, I did not sell short there. Why do you think I didn't sell short there? Okay, the market's at resistance, but why would I not have sold short? And think about what the candlestick line is showing. Okay, and the answer is, and if you want to put the player control and pause to think about it, do so. But the answer is, it's there's nothing bearish about this candlestick signal. Tall white real body, a bit of an upper shadow, but nothing to get me nervous. So I actually sold short on this doji right in the resistance area. And whenever I place a trade, I always have a stop. Okay, as soon as I put the trade in, I have the stop in. And as soon as it got above this resistance area, I gave it a little bit of leeway instead of just you know getting above here. I wanted to get above the highs of the past couple of sessions. I got stopped out. You know, very minimal risk. And then after this, I'm sorry, very minimal uh, loss because of the proper use of stops. And then. We see what happened over the next few days, and uh, the market kept on rallying. We had a little bit of a correction in the euro with a bearish engulfing pattern, but net-net, it just was a very strong rally since the lows here at the bullish engulfing pattern. But again, there's always a price that says we're wrong. And for those who look at the S&P, okay, notice the support area here. Market closed under it. All right, it, it got above the broken support. All support becomes resistance, but didn't close above it. As soon as it closed above it, the whole technical picture had changed from one in which the trend was down to a little bit neutral because of this long lower shadow here, hammer-like session, and the doji showing the bears losing some steam, but essentially net down, which sell-off, by the way, began with this classic bearish engulfing pattern, uh, but as soon as it closed above the change of polarity, anybody who was short from down here or even from down here should have been out of short positions because the market said they were wrong. Remember, there's always a price that says we're wrong. Capital preservation, risk control, stops is one of the prime aspects to successful trading. Thanks and have a great day.